Hey everyone, Matthew, Mr. Domestic. This video is all about the construction of this front panel of my rainbow fringe pillow that I made. When I posted it on social media, I didn't realize that so many people would be interested in making it. And luckily, I had filmed some stuff when I constructed it, but all that will walk you through is how to create this panel. And I'll give you some of the dimensions and links before we get into that part of it. But you can have the back. I did a, a standard envelope back right here. So if you know how to use that, it was super duper easy once you get the panel constructed. That's actually the hard part. So if you are ready to have your own version of this Rainbow-tastic fringe pillow, then stick with me. This is gonna be a great tutorial. I can't wait to see this out in the world because this has brought me so much joy. <laughs> and boy, don't we all need some joy right now. So. This is a 20 by 20 pillow right here. It's Fringetastic. I bought some fringe. I got mine from Amazon. If y'all know of a small business that carries fringe, I'll link them below. If not, I'm going to go ahead and put my affiliate links that y'all can use in the description below. But these are 20 inch lengths and there are three of each color. And there are seven colors here. And then from that, I was able to cut out a 20 by 20 full envelope back and then created the pillow. Super duper easy construction. I think you can Google envelope back if you don't have it. I have some other tutorials. I'll go through them and link in the description if you're unsure of how to construct that. But really, if all you can do is construct the panel, it's absolutely worth it. So are you ready to get into it? Let's get ready to rumble. Okay, for those that are interested in how I'm sewing up my fringe, making a rainbow fringe, I have a couple more colors to do. But this is how I'm doing it, so you can see the back. I'm sandwiching them into a seam, basically protecting the fringe when I put it in, and now I'll show you how I do that. I have strips. This is roughly about five inches of a strip with some woven interfacing on it, and that's how I start. But my wonder tape is the key. Just doing it precisely. Just line up wonder tape. This washes out. It's a quarter inch. I love it for zippers and just anything that it's kind of a pain in the butt to clip or pin. This will keep it in place and you don't have to worry about stuff when you take it to your sewing machine. So now I have my next one, which is orange, like so. And I'll just put it on here. And this water tape is tacky enough to just keep it in place. You don't necessarily need to heat set it. But I like to take it to my iron and heat set it before I take it to the sewing machine just to make sure it's not going to move one bit. But for this next one, I need one more thing of Wonder Tape. Just on top of here. Just so it doesn't slip. So that, I can attach this one. Boom. Like this. Make sure all that's out of the way. Ta-da, ta-da, ta-da. This is the straight edge, like so. And then press this, and I'm going to go iron it just to heat set it and fuse it. And I'll take it over to the sewing machine. Now I have this over at Darth. This is my Darth Vader. I'm gonna sew a straight line right here along this raw edge at a half inch. And this is just to encase the fringe inside that seam. This, and then one other thing I will do is I'm moving this over to a zigzag stitch to encase these raw edges so they don't fray and just to make it as strong as all of the other ones. I'm just going along the edge right here. Let me show you this right here these two stitches, like so. 
there it is. It's like that, so it's a straight and it's a zigzag. And now the next thing I'm going to do is fold this over and press it right here before I come and top stitch it here. So I'm gonna do that off camera. Now I have folded and pressed, and as you can see, all of the seams are going up. And this is what it looks like from the front, like so. Now I am going to edge stitch about a quarter of an inch from the fold, so there's one more secure stitch in this project. Says that stitch, can you see it? There it is, like so. And now I'll take you back over just to the aerial view so you can see how I continue with the next one and then finish this. So I have this here and I'm going to go up an inch and a quarter from this fold line right here. And just in case it's wibbly wobbly, I just make sure this is at an inch and a quarter, that's at an inch and a quarter. Might be some slight variance in the center using my Taylor's chalk thing mark it like so and then back to the wonder tape and then from here it's the same process as the other one except you don't have to add another piece of fabric here so i'll just get you going and start it on this boom 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 grab another fringe like so put it here Ta-da, 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 ta-da. Now I'm gonna heat set it, fold it over like this, stitch that up like I did the first one, fold it over, stitch again, and then keep going, keep going, keep going. And then once I get to the third one, and let's say it's all finished, then I will measure an inch and a quarter from whatever the new fold line is, and then cut it. And ta-da, you've got a fringe something. Not sure what this is going to be yet, but it's going to be fringy. So I hope that I've given you all the information enough to where you can get started doing this. I, I did it this way to create a super durable textile with the front panel, knowing that it was either going to be a jacket or a pillow. I went with the pillow because that means I'm done. But really, this can be done on so many different things. I'm absolutely going to make one in my life. Another one, maybe blues, a gradient, something. Like the sky's the limit. If you wanted a solid color, like if you have a favorite color, there are a lot of things you can do with fringe that you might not have thought about before. So if you enjoyed this, I hope you did, then make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to check me out on my other social media. There's always something going on over on Instagram, Facebook. I have a Facebook group. It's Mr. Domestics, Sewing and Craft Room. Love that space. So on that note, Keep it positive, keep it rainbow fringe-tastic, and keep it safe. Mr. Domestic out. Hey everyone! <laughs>